Hi guys! I am... Um, I'm kind of really tired and it's also a really late movie um, live stream thingy to share with you guys. Um, but this thing has just been in my head all day and it... Um, hi! <laughs> it pops up, it popped up when I was out running. People often... Um, often ask how do I how do I get from where I am to where I want to be and how do I get from where I am to where I want to be without being in this um, feeling of resistance all the time and when I do feel resistance <laughs> how can I then um, stay happy where I am if I know I want to be somewhere else if it makes any sense whatsoever what I just said, there is a explanation behind it. So, um, the thing is, when when we are in a situation where we realize that we want something else, that our heart desire to do or be elsewhere, we instantly feel um, a feeling of, I do not belong here, or we feel an attraction from our heart to... I really do feel that I belong there. I really do feel that I belong in, in this job or this country or whatever your heart desire. So your heart are telling you always, this is what I want to do. This is what I don't want to do. This is what I desire. This is what my heart tells me to. And now I no longer feel that I maybe no longer belong where I am. So everything is energy, right? And if we are not capable of making the move within the, that second, if if we have to be, <laughs> hey Toby, if we have to be in the moment or in the area, the relationship, whatever situation, longer than just um, the rest of the day. We might have this feeling of heartbreaking or the feeling of resistance. And we, every, we all know that when we contain a feeling of heartbreak or resistance, we send out that frequency which only will make it even harder for us. So where I'm going with all this blah blah? Um, let me explain it in the form where I use my way of doing it. If I am somewhere and I feel my heart open up, I am aware, okay, this is something my heart loves to do. If I feel that I am drawn to a place, for example, to Budapest, I'm drawn to Budapest. I really feel that I have to be there. So in the moment I'm there, I become conscious about, okay, my next step is going to Budapest. But I have all these things to do before I go to Budapest. That means when I go back into uh, my life here, um, my heart feels that it's not where it wants to be, right? So if I increase that feeling, if I keep drawing myself down in that feeling, I am not here. I am not in the present moment and I'm not enjoying my life within this second. If I accept the feeling, accept it and say, okay, I am now consciousness conscious about that I wish to go to Budapest. I'm also aware that I have to do what I am to do um, before I go there. So that means that I cannot shift it from today till tomorrow. Therefore, I accept it. So I accept it. I know where my heart are going to go. And I accept the here and now because I cannot change it. And what I then do is I find the beauty within the here and now. I find the beauty within every step that I take. Within every situation, every experience I meet here. Because if we are able to create freedom in the here and now, then we are free enough within ourselves to actually go where we wish to go. Hi! <laughs> but if we feel trapped in the here and now, if we feel resistance in the here and now, and heartbreak and pain, we are locking ourselves up. 
uh, for seeing all the beauty, but also actually for going where we want to go. Because <laughs> then we are keeping ourselves stuck. The truth is, we are the creators of our own illusion, our own universe. And, oh, that's sweet. <laughs> and <laughs> no matter which situation we are in, we are capable of creating freedom within ourselves. It doesn't matter if we are in a prison, if we are in a violent relationship, or um, if we are locked in a bathroom all alone and there is hundreds outside. It sounds crazy, but this is how it works. So if you are capable of finding a ho, <laughs> if you are capable of finding that little piece of peace inside of you and finding joy and happiness in being exactly where you are, then that joy and that happiness are creating the freedom that you need to walk where you want to go. Does it make sense, guys? <laughs> I take that as a yes. So, just to shorten it all up, when we meet a barrier saying, wow, this is no longer for me, this is you telling yourself, okay, I know I'm no longer supposed to go this direction. So tell yourself, I am a, I'm aware of this. I am now conscious about it, so I can let it go. I can let it go, so I can be in the present moment. So I can enjoy life where I am right here, right now. And from that point of view, from that stage, we can go wherever our heart desire. True is that no matter what is outside of ourselves, we can always find it within. But it doesn't mean that we don't really want to experience things in life. And we are so much allowed. But before we go from A to B, so it's not a runaway, you know? Have you heard the story of, yeah, you're just traveling around because you're running from yourself. It's not how it works. If you want to be truly free, you are here. You create freedom in the here and the now. And when you created that freedom within yourself, exactly where you are, you can move on. <laughs> really cozy couch. Yeah, it fits perfectly to my level of uh, tiredness. <laughs> so I just, I just had to share this with you guys and... Um, Apparently it couldn't wait until tomorrow, so <laughs> this is going to be my late evening uh, sharing. Is there anybody who have any questions or something before I round this off? Oh yes, Alexander, you are very right. It's not always easy with the energy around and we have to ask ourselves, um, one of two things. One thing is, okay, how do I create this? Normally, if we have um, a path where we have to really learn to stand within ourselves and learn to increase a lot of self-trust and uh, peace within, we have this situation where the energy around us are really not beneficial for that. But it only allows us to go even deeper. It only allows us to find even more freedom and as a personal experience, I had been in <laughs> pretty locked up situations where I, I I didn't really care about my life anymore. I didn't um, I didn't really want to live, you know. So I told myself, either either you find a reason to be here. Or you just end it, you know, because I don't want to go around and feel like crap inside. Then it doesn't make sense for me being here at all. So what I did was finding, you know, the beauty in the, the smallest things, which I couldn't even, uh, I wasn't ready to look at myself. I wasn't ready to look in a mirror and say, oh man, you're beautiful. I love you. <laughs> Not at all. I, I, I thought I was worth nothing you know and i 
I would even, <laughs> I couldn't even look in the mirror at, at at that point. I was like, wow, I'm the most, I should never be born, you know, that, that really that feeling. So what I did was I linked to the beauty in life, you know, I, I linked to, linked to the beauty of nature, to the beauty of colors, to the beauty of the sun when it's shining and, and just to, to be able to feel that inside of my heart that was where that was where i found my will to live you know that was where i found my peace and that was where i started so in this whole chaos around me where i was not able to feel myself any longer or wanting to feel myself that was where i started so when you can increase that little feeling, that little drop of happiness inside of you, then this is what you can open up, this is what you can link to, and this is what you can allow to expand inside of yourself. Um, it's not the easy way we can say, but it's so much worth it. It's so much worth it, and it's It really allows you to understand the purpose of freedom inside, from my perspective. It's a creation of my own life. Know the feeling, yes, look at nature too. Yeah, and, and understand the creation. Don't run away from it, love it. So, for example... Uh, huh? Okay, nice. <laughs> for example... Um, being surrounded by a hard environment right that that for many people can be low frequency but if you embrace it if you embrace it and understand it then you can find the beauty in it and that's the trick it's the trick is to find the beauty with it within any sector i love uh fighting sport i love being in these surroundings and there's really heavy energies but there's also really really beautiful passion and it is to look beyond the lower frequency to find the love and the passion within everything and also the understanding of why we created whatever we created in our past so not only to get over it and forgive it but literally to love it when you love it you're free from it and you're one with it and then you don't need to run away you don't need to have resistance on it you can look at it and you can smile say hi you know you don't serve me any longer but i see you and thank you for everything you did for me until today Doo -doo. <laughs> yes that is it you're so very welcome um boom, boom, boom. let's see <laughs> thank you guys where is the unicorn? Um, it's exactly right around the corner. You really want to see it? Wait a second. Okay. Got it. <laughs> um, yes, so to feel free is love in the heart and now so well explained. Um, the heart is still telling Basel, London, Basel, haha, <laughs> but also love, whoops, uh, the here to the con contained level, love the here to our contain, ah, okay, <laughs> oh, great Toby, yeah, well, when you're ready to know which direction to turn, you will know it, and also then, the present moment is pretty awesome. Uh, share your video in tomorrow's Out of Love Festival. Well, you uh, you go ahead and do that. <laughs> oh, you did it already. Awesome. Great. I can't wait. Tomorrow's going to be awesome. Uh, cool. I, I, th I think... I think I answered any everything here, right? Anyways, guys, I am so grateful for all of you. You know, you are, um, 
Yeah, it's really nice you are tapping in and to feel the love that you are sharing and to feel the journeys you are on and the willingness you have to um, to bring your life closer to yourself. I, I really love that and I really respect it. And something that always is important for me is we cannot judge each other's journey, you know. And each of one of them, each of one of us have this beautiful, unique journey. Um, and I love it. <laughs> I love it. And I love that we are not the same. I love that we are not meant to walk exactly the same direction. That we come in so many shapes, so many colors, so many freak out belief systems. That sometimes it's like, <gasps> seriously, what is right and what is wrong? But this is what makes life magical. This is what makes life worth living. If we knew it all. If we knew it all and could remember it all, what would life be? It, it will just be a meaning to an end. So, instead of hating the journey, instead of hating the confusion, let's just embrace it and love it. And yeah, I got big chins. <laughs> embrace it and love it and be a part of it. It's one big journey, it's one big experience and Many people are also saying this, um, I just want to get rid of all my belief systems and, and out of all my patterns and just want to be completely free. So what if that that is a pattern? What if that is a belief system that you cannot be free unless you are rid of all your belief systems? <laughs> so love yourself accept yourself exactly where you are in this here in this now and from that piece of freedom within you you can go towards wherever your heart desire to bring you yeah guys that was what i wanted to share or literally what i needed to share <laughs> so thank you very much for tapping in and i wish you a wonderful wonderful night and to you from Amsterdam, I will see you guys tomorrow. It's gonna be awesome. Day day. Finish must be the button.